how did this thing, these these little birds, change the world? How did this how did this happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so uh, actually uh, everybody always thinks that it was like yeah, overnight success and, you know, these guys made a game and then, you know, people, people started downloading and uh, all of that. But actually, Rovio has been making games since 2003 mm. and uh, this was our 52nd game. So, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it took a while. So it was like overnight success that took a couple of years. <laughs> but yeah, we basically kind of like... Uh, kept believing that. We, we actually, we did a lot of games for uh, EA and uh, Game House, Nokia and all that. So this was uh, one of the first that we did for, for ourselves. So, uh, yeah. Um, I read today that as of the middle of the month, 350 million downloads. Yeah, yeah. And there's a few more now, but yeah. That's, oh, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah, that's not a bad start. Yeah, yeah. 350 million. Mm. Did you have any idea remotely that it would become something this crazy? Uh, I, I don't think anybody, uh, any of the team, you know, I thought it would be this huge. Uh, but but uh, we had a pretty good indication that it would be uh, different from a lot of our games because uh, Niklas, so one of our founders, he, you know how it is. You always, you know, like you make a new game and then you want to show friends and family that, you know, like look at what we did. And uh, at Christmas uh, 2009, uh, he gave uh, his phone to his uh, mom and, uh, okay, you know, why don't you have a look at this, this new Angry Birds game that we made. And typically what happens when you give a game to, to your mom that, okay, yeah, you know, looks at it and nice, get the phone back. With Angry Birds, he didn't get the phone back. <laughs> so it's a pretty strong indication that uh, there might be something in Angry Birds. Wow. Where did the idea, the, the premise come from? Yeah, so... Uh, we actually were in a position after like the 51 games where the uh, company was uh, you know, struggling and uh, we really had to come up with something and, and uh, then decided to take a totally different approach. So very, very analytical, looking at what makes a great game, analyzed a lot of games, uh, mobile, web, everything. And uh, then uh, Jaakko Isalo, who is one of our game designers. Say that again. Jaakko Isalo. <laughs> so, That's from cool. Finland. So yeah. yeah. So, uh, or Jaska as, as uh, for short. Uh, but anyway, so uh, he, he had been, uh, you know, drawing these bird characters for, for years. And then he came up with a game design around those uh, birds. And everybody loved the bird characters, but uh, couldn't really figure out the game. But we decided that, okay, we have to build a game around the bird characters. And then uh, we had 12 people and uh, it took eight months to build the game. So, you know, the pigs were introduced during that process and, uh, very late in, in, in the process, we actually uh, introduced a slingshot. So uh, really? originally, uh, you just kind of like were flicking these birds and all of that, and, and it didn't really, you know, people couldn't figure it out. So then we added the slingshot, and then, uh, you know, you instantly know how to play. So, uh, so it's, uh, yeah, took a while, and uh, it was good that it took a while because we had time to really polish the game and uh, make it uh, what it is today. The slingshot that changed the world. Yeah. yeah. You could be uh, the only game that's played by most heads of state on the planet. I read that the president, Obama, he's, yeah. he's a fan. Yeah, that's, uh, he had the Blackberry, now has the iPad. Wonder why, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister of Russia. Yeah, President of Russia, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, he's a huge fan. Uh, Australia. Australian Prime Minister, yeah, yeah. she plays as well. It's, uh, but but have to, be, to be clear, it's not her iPad, and he do she doesn't have a lot of time to play, just to be clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I imagine if you're one of the leaders of the free world and you're stressed out about some, some politics, it's a good way to get, get your frustrations out. If I'm the president and I've just gotten out of a session with John Boehner, yeah. I I'm going <laughs> to definitely yeah, yeah, and play we, some Angry Birds. Yeah, yeah, and we just heard, you know, like how games are changing the world, and they, you know, if they can, you know, uh, cure people, why can't we kind of like cure bigger world problems. And I, I'm totally buying into this Nobel Peace Prize you know, goal, so let's go for that. Mm. <laughs> what, what do you say uh, to the people who criticize uh, a game like yours that totally makes an addict? I mean, I'm an addict. My finger sometimes just stays cranked to the side from the slingshot. Uh -huh. I don't know if you have some sort of 12-step group uh, uh, not yet, but we've been asked for, for that. Yeah. But what do, what do you say to the people who say that this is uh, we're creating time wasters uh, in these games? Yeah, but uh, you can always, always uh, you know, there's a lot of 
things that waste time. Uh, so, so that's uh, nothing new there. But I think that uh, what is really, really important that we get so much uh, fan mail from, uh, especially from grandparents, that this is the kind of like one of the things that really, you know, lets them connect with their grandchildren, that they can play this together. And, and we get that every day. And also, like at this conference, kind of so much, uh, you know, like uh, that my wife never plays games, but she plays Angry Birds. And, you know, I just heard that people play Angry Birds in bed together and all that's why. Okay, <laughs> so, but, but anyway, so, so, you know, it connects people clearly. <laughs> yeah. Now, you, 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 your background uh, b b before Rovio was, mm -hmm. you were at HP, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I read that there was a, a contest or something that you participated mm -hmm. in that sort of helped you get to this place to build this platform. Yeah, yeah, so I was at HP a uh, long time, so kind of like, you know, the corporate life as well. Uh, yeah, I organized a competition uh, to create the best mobile multiplayer game back in 2003. And, you know, that was when the like, first Nokia smartphones uh, appeared way before the iPhone. So there's been kind of like stuff before that. But anyway, uh, so uh, anyway, uh, uh, Niklas and the two founders, two of his friends, uh, they were actually studying at the Helsinki University of Technology. So they uh, took part in the competition, won, and then they came to me and said, okay, like, what do we do now? And I said, hey, why don't you start a company, you know, like make games, it's, you know, easy. <laughs> and uh, then 51 games later, Angry Birds. So that's kind of like uh, how it happened. Wow. So movies, um, mm -hmm. in incredible merchandise, like that stuffed animal that I'm going to steal from Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> All right, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I don't have kids, I can't fight you on can't that. Do that. Can't do that, um, what, What's the future? Tell me, uh, mm -hmm. movies obviously is, is next. Yeah, I, I think that uh, we haven't uh, viewed ourselves as a games company. I mean, when we actually went for this uh, Angry Birds strategy, so the idea was to make games uh, for, for the iPhone and other smartphones until we have a hit, and then kind of like take it everywhere to all the screens. So uh, that's kind of like what we've been doing with Angry Birds. And uh, for us, it's actually, we only care about two things, our fans and our brand. So right now we're taking our brand everywhere. So uh, we started with games, then uh, we have the merchandising. So we sold a few of those toys, uh, smaller <laughs> though, but, but anyway, a uh, million a month so far. And uh, then uh, we're, uh, we're also uh, doing uh, a lot of other merchandise. Uh, so. So that's going very well. And uh, animation, we bought an animation studio, so uh, we're gonna produce a whole bunch of animated shorts. Already have 170 million views on uh, YouTube, which is that's more than it? A, more, yeah, but it's like we're only getting started, so you know, it's, uh, it's not like Bieber numbers, but you know, we'll get there. <laughs> I don't know, 170 million is pretty strong. You should yeah, partner it's, up it's with- It's more than, more than most of the Hollywood studios, but, uh, <laughs> but again, uh, that's, not, that's not like, an amazing benchmark anyway. So we, we, uh, we want to be uh, uh, the first entertainment brand uh, with a billion fans. So that's basically what we're building. A billion with a B. Yeah, yeah. And once we reach that, then two. But yeah, billion is a good start. Well, you should probably try and set some, some, some goals for yourself. Yeah. S sounds like you're not really thinking outside of the box. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. At all. Yeah, but I, I think it was really, really good to listen to the discussion before also that for us, I mean, we, uh, when we talk about fans, so uh, we really uh, talk to our fans every day. Twitter, Facebook, then, uh, you know, uh, Weibo, Ren Ren in China, uh, all the social, different social networks around the world. So, uh, so it, it's something that uh, most of the uh, current entertainment brands don't do. So, so I think that's... Uh, Huge difference, and of course, uh, that also allowed us to build Angry Birds into what is probably the fastest growing brand ever, and we spent zero on advertising. Zero. Nothing. Yeah. So that's all word of mouth, Angry Birds, why are the birds angry? Color red. When we launched, no other app had a red icon in the App Store. So these are all things that we kind of like thought about. How do we get the game out without having a marketing budget. So, uh, so it's, it's again, uh, I think, kind of like the big thing that we done is, is really uh, change the way these things are marketed and how you build brands. Wow. That's really cool. My favorite part of the game is the, um, the boomerang toucan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
He's he's fantastic. I think he's just have a level yeah. just with the boomerang toucan. Yeah. yeah, it's very the boomerang bird. It's actually and the toucan is it's very interesting because uh, a lot of people love that and a lot of people hate the toucan. <laughs> so we actually made a short animation for for our summer update where we. Uh, Actually, we made the, the boomerang bird very popular, so we explained his background and kind of like his challenges. So, so that's uh, yeah, part of the part of the story. Your job does not suck, sir. Hey, it's a thank pleasure. you. Straight.